The Aborigines of Australia have survived the trackless wastes of the continent for centuries. To do so, they have developed extraordinary visuospatial skills, a feature of the right hemisphere. Has the combination of experience and evolution changed the way they think? Aboriginal children do not perform as well as white Australian children on conventional verbal tests. One psychologist, Judy Carnes, thought the tests might be ignoring the Aborigines' real skills. The children I've found know a great deal more than I do and a great deal more than most uh, white Australian people. They take for granted that we possess most of the knowledge they have and we don't. They um, think that a sense of direction is, is brought into everybody, for instance. And also, uh, the same thing applies to all their knowledge about the wildlife of their region. They don't really seem to think that any of their knowledge is special, and it is very much so. Dr. Carnes believes that Aboriginal children use their visual and spatial memories more than white children. She invented a game to test her theory. The task, to remember the positions of a set of objects on a board. The man-made object should be easier for verbally oriented children to remember because natural objects are not as easily described and remembered in words. Carnes used both natural and man-made objects. All right. Open your eyes and sit. The most difficult group of all to describe verbally, 12 stones. Philomena has 30 seconds to memorize the positions of the stones. She can take as long as she likes to put them back. Almost all in the right places. That one's right, that one's right, that one's right, that one's right. So it's that and that and that. That is, that is, that is, that is. These two should be swapped around. Do you think so? I've tested children uh, between the ages of um, six something and about 16 years and a bit now. And uh, they always perform better than white Australian children. Oh, and also. Um, the rate of um, superiority, if you like, uh, stays about the same. They perform at about the um, about three years ahead of uh, the white Australian children, so that a, an Aboriginal child of, of uh, seven years would perform about as well as a ten-year-old white Australian child. Not quite as well, but it's about a three-year difference. They also tend to perform these tasks in even ways in terms of tempo. They don't uh, hurry in and put a few back and then slow down. They seem to perform at the same rate all the time. And they also don't mutter or mumble, which a lot of uh, white Australian children have done while they were viewing the tasks. I think in efforts to learn the names, hoping that that would help them to remember where the items went. The two groups of children use different strategies and perhaps different parts of their brains to solve the puzzles. 